So in summary, um, just a couple of slides about co uh, playful co-design. It's really thinking about your audience and tailing uh, appropriately um, to your project um, to empower your stakeholders. So what, what a method is appropriate for one project won't necessarily be appropriate for another project. So it's really about that initial stage of investigation, understanding who your stakeholders are and then designing with them, for them, um, empowering them to become the experts and allowing them as non-designers to become designers and visually illustrate their ideas and engage in a design process. Um, they might not even be aware that they're actually designing, but they are they are giving you their input and their say in an accessible um, format. And finally, as well, that co-design is not a linear process. Um, and I think this is a challenge sometimes as a, as a co-designer is when projects come along and you're asked to put forward a proposal, often you don't quite know and you shouldn't know what it's going to look like at the end. And people are always quite transfixed on what's the end product or what's the end result. And I, I have to keep coming back to, well, we, we don't quite know what that's going to be because we've got to go through the process to establish what that end product is going to be. And I think that's something that is something that we have to keep working with uh, in the co-design world is making people comfortable that it's okay to not know quite what it's going to be at the end and that's a good thing that we haven't got an end product that we're working towards we've got an end idea and how we will get to that idea will evolve with the stakeholders um, to ensure that it's the the right end product um, or or um, has been designed in the in the right way <clears throat> 